Hi, everybody, and welcome to today's session. My name is Justin Crowley here with Forcepoint, and today we're going to discuss Forcepoint 1 DLP. Now, one of the great things about Forcepoint 1 DLP is all the DLP policies that we have out of the box. Now, I'm no regex expert, so me trying to create a regex to find credit card numbers and social security numbers, I don't even know where to start. So the nice thing with Forcepoint 1 is we take that guesswork out. So as you can see on my screen here, I have this little library here. We have over 190 different patterns or DLP policies here. You can see they range from looking for PII, looking for PHI, acceptable use policies, GDPR, and they cover different regions. Now I'm based in Canada here, so let's go ahead and look for any policies around its social security numbers for Canada. So I can see I have one here. I can see it's going to look for Canadian uh, social security numbers. I can look at the different match criteria, right? As I said, I'm no regex expert, wouldn't even know where to start. So in my case, great, I'm interested in this. I now want to be able to block social security numbers from being uploaded or downloaded across my secure gateway channels, my CASB channels, as well as my ZTNA for my private apps. So I'm going to go ahead and import this into my policy. You can see I've successfully imported that. So now I'm going to go back to my rules. And let's go to Google Apps, for example. So I'm going to scroll down to my Google Apps. And I'm going to put a rule in place that says, hey, if you're in IT, engineering, enablement, partners, or an executive, we're going to control your uploads and downloads here. And let's add my policy. So in my case, I'm going to control the upload. And now I'm going to find my Canadian SIN number here. For the actions, in this case, I'm just going to completely deny it. And I'm going to set a notification here and click on OK. Let's go ahead and save that. And while it's saving, I'm just going to open up a brand new file here. Let's put in a social security number. And let's just save this file. So I'm sin on my desktop and save. Let's go to my Google Drive. Go ahead and log in. Now, as we discussed in another video, this is again us. I'm a contractor on a personal device. I'm a contractor on a Linux device, a Chromebook, any device where I don't have an agent installed or just in general, I'm not on a corporate or managed device. So how am I now able to apply that DLP? Well, again, as you saw, we went through single sign-on, went through Okta in that case. And you can see my URL is now a rewritten URL. So I'm going through the proxy. So I'm going to go ahead and upload my file. There's my SIN file. Let's go ahead and try uploading this. And as you can see, my policy has now blocked it. So there, my upload triggered my DLP pattern. You can see my social security number. We can specify the time, the date, the application, as well as the user. So now, as you saw, within a couple of clicks, I was now able to start blocking social security numbers even though, as you can see, I'm on an unmanaged device, my DLP policy was instantly implemented and now is now able to secure my environment. So thank you very again for joining today's session and enjoy the rest of your day.